ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, tonight we're doing another re-review of a beer that we reviewed about, I think it was like, I don't know, probably a month ago or so. I'm not sure, I can't remember. Um, but this is the latest batch of King Sue from Toppling Goliath. This comes courtesy of my beer brother, Eric Wood, from Blackboard Beer Reviews. Please check out his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. He does amazing beer reviews, drinks amazing beers, and he does reviews with his buddy John, and those guys are just, they kill beer reviews. I don't understand why their channel is not way, way, way more popular in the beer tubing community because those guys have some of the best tasting notes of any beer reviewer that I watch. Actually, one of the first YouTube channels I started watching before I started doing my own beer reviews. So please check out his channel, just subscribe to him. His videos are awesome. He's a super cool guy. And he was kind enough to send me the latest batch of King Sue. This is the batch, the first batch since Mike, the head brewer that had left, came back and did. And from what everyone's saying, this batch is where it was supposed to be. When I reviewed mine, it was, I think one of the first batches that they did without him there. I really, really like that beer. It's a single hop, Citra double IPA, 8%, I do believe. It doesn't say on the uh, on the label, but I think it's 8%, straight up 8%. But yeah, single hop with Citra, my favorite. I'd have to go back and watch my review on that one, but I think I gave it like a 96 or a 97. I really, really, really liked it. But from what everyone's saying, this is what King Su was supposed to be when he wasn't there. So really, really looking forward to it. And I like this bottle cap, that top one Goliath bottle cap. That is very, very cool. So excited to check this one out. I believe Eric gave it a 100. Darwin just reviewed it, gave it a 100, said it was the best up IPA I think that he had ever had. Um, Citra Showers for me is still king of Citra double IPAs. And Noble is actually doing another bottling of that. So I'd like to uh, get my hands on another bottle of that. But really, really excited to check this one out now that Mike is back. So let's dig in. Beer pour is a hazy, yeah, totally opaque tangerine color. It looks like a New England IPA in the glass. Nice about finger of bright white head from that pour. Didn't pour it too aggressive, but it looks absolutely amazing in the glass. Just like that fruit juice kind of looking, orange juice kind of a thing going on. And nice, uh, nice glass lacing already just from that initial pour. Awesome, awesome stuff. So really looking forward to the nose on this one. Citra is my favorite, as you guys know. So. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's uh, let's buckle up, kids. Holy shit. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Toppling Goliath bottling person. There's juice in this bottle. That's not beer. That is straight up orange juice. Oranges, mangoes, passion fruit. There's that, like basil herbaceousness in there this is just classic classic citra holy crap the citra just like explodes out of the glass this is this might be one of the best smelling beers i've ever had this is right up there with green this is up there with citra showers this is just straight up citra it does it smells like juice like orange juice or tangerine juice I don't get any kind of like malty sweetness. This is just straight up hops. I don't, it's, there's no like adjunct in there either. I don't know how hops smell this good. Like people who drink macro lagers, you need to start drinking shit like this. Cause this is, this is like, this is like life changing. Wow. One of the best descriptors that Eric said, it's a gusher. This. That's a, a great descriptor. It's a fucking gusher. It is straight up juice in a glass. The citrus notes and like the passion fruit and the like that herbaceous green kind of basil thing going on. Yeah, this, the nose on this, it smells better than the last batch of King Sue that I had. This was bottled on uh, July the 17th. So time of recording, we're about two weeks old. I wanted to drink this sooner, but he sent it and I was out of town and then work has just been stupid busy and I just, I haven't got a chance to do this. So yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm ready. Let's go ahead and dig in. Eric, thank you, sir. Cheers. Yeah. 
I would say the name King Sue is the perfect name for this beer. Just because from that first drink, this is the best citra beer I've ever had. Holy shit. The mouthfeel on that is incredible. Nice, like almost on that creamy, almost treehouse kind of thing. Right up front though, it is just a huge blast of citrus. Oranges, mangoes, tangerines. Middle of the mouth, you get a nice bitterness, like grapefruit kind of pithy thing going on. Um, but then those hops are just there. They they stay with you. It's a it's a nice clean, um, almost like to a dry finish. Makes you just want to keep sipping on it. But that the the bitterness from the like what you get middle middle of the mouth in there. It, but then like that, I'm actually having a hard time describing this. Like the fruity citrus kind of comes back on the finish of that, and you get like that herbaceous. There's like a little bit of dankness in there. Um, and almost like with green from Treehouse, almost like that kind of like fruit stripe kind of gum thing. That's crazy. 8%. There's no booze. There's, there's, you can't find booze anywhere. There's nothing on the nose. You don't taste any of it. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I don't know what else to say. I'm actually like speechless. This beer is mind blowing. This is the best citra beer there is. This is better than citra showers. And I gave that beer 100, so this is easily a 100. I've been having a lot of 100 beers lately. I'm a lucky, lucky guy. Yeah, this is it. I mean, I. what do I do? Do I just carry on about it? This is fucking incredible. This might be the best beer that I've had this year. This is up there with Treehouse beers. Wow, this is amazing. This is an A+, plus. it's a 100. If you can get your hands on this, get it. I don't know what the availability is now since it's been, you know, it was released two weeks ago. I'm sure you'd have to trade for it. I would trade any local IPA, I mean, anything locally to me that I would get, I would trade multiples of it for this. This is just next level from what I had last time from King Sue. I want to try, like, I need to start getting my hands on the other beers now. I want to try Pseudo Sue again. I want to try Zealander again. I want to try gold nugget again now that mike's back that dude knows what the fuck is up i don't know i mean i guess it's it's like with a chef i mean you go to a restaurant and there's a, a chef there that's awesome and he cooks food and it's amazing and then when he leaves you still have the same recipes but if you're not as good of a chef as the guy that was there before your food's not gonna be as good whoever was doing the brewing after mike left i mean you made a, a darn good beer but it was not this toppling goliath absolutely made the, the right decision bringing that guy back wow 100 Eric, thanks. I bro, I owe you so much for this beer. Wow, this is fucking amazing. Yeah, you like citra hops, King Sue. That's it. Done. Best citra beer there is. Probably the best double IPA there is too. Amazing. Speechless. Drop the mic. So, I'm out of here, guys. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna gush over this. I'm gonna dream about this. <laughs> amazing, amazing stuff, Eric. Thanks so much. Check out his channel. And until next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.